Okay, hi there. Uh, joint demand and joint supply are terms in our study of markets that often come up as multiple choice or short answer questions. So this quick revision video uh, explains the difference between joint demand and joint supply and provides some examples. So first of all, what is joint demand? Well, joint demand is when the demand for one product could be a good or a service is directly and positively linked to the market demand for a related good or service. And the best example of this, of course, would be two complementary products. They are in joint demand. The cross price elasticity of demand for complements is negative. Fall in the price of X will lead to an increase in the demand for X and therefore an increase in the demand for Y, a complementary product. Joint demand happens when the demand for two goods or services is interdependent, be it the demand for fish and chips, iron ore and steel, and for example, the demand for apps as take up of mobile devices increases. This chart shows uh, the growing demand for apps on various app platforms, such as Google Play and of course the Apple App Store, as the usage of mobile devices and laptops as well continues to surge. So hundreds of thousands now of available apps in the Amazon App Store. Uh, go back to 1990, uh, 2007 when the, uh, the App Store first came into being. Only a few thousand apps available now, nearly half a million. So what is joint supply? Joint supply is where an increase or a decrease in the supply of one product leads to an increase or decrease in the supply of a byproduct. So joint supply happens when a production process yields two or more distinct outputs. There could be more than two. And lots of examples happen within livestock. If, for example, there's an increase in beef production, that increases the supply of hide. If there's a fall in the market supply of lamb, that's going to reduce the supply of wool. Now, with joint supply, you can use an analysis diagram. So let's take the market for beef. On the left-hand side here, there's been an outward shift in the demand for beef, causing the price to go up from P1 to P2, but crucially, the quantity supplied to expand from Q1 to Q2. So as beef production increases, you would expect there to be an increase in the supply of beef hide because beef hide is a byproduct from the other industry. So this would be a good example of a double diagram to use uh, if you're asked to explain joint supply in an exam question. Okay, thank you.